our company and host of The Grace Curley Show, Grace Curley, and Executive Director of USA, Aaron Elmore. Ladies, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having us. All right, so I want to break down this into several pieces. So stick with me here because we have um, the Democratic leaders who are starting to speak out, as I mentioned, Speaker Pelosi. We have Governor Cuomo's response so far that he gave just yesterday, and the media is finally on board and starting to cover this. But let's start with Democrats' response so far, most calling for a private investigation. Do you feel like they're taking this seriously enough in their response to him, Aaron? You know, I certainly hope that they go back to their mantra, which is believe all women, right? We remember when that was said, what's good for the Republican goose is good for the Democrat gander. I think we have to hold all people to the same standards. And we know that Cuomo came out very harshly and very seriously against Brett Kavanaugh during his hearings. I think that's something that has to be handled and accountable here for him too. Everyone has to take these allegations seriously. And what Cuomo said today was something like, oh, I was joking. Sexual assault and allegations thereof are never funny. Yeah, I'm gonna actually read what he had to say here for you, Grace. Um, he said this, at work, sometimes I think I'm being playful and I make jokes that I think are, are funny. The thing about this is um, the original allegations came out in December. And so now we have finally, the media is starting to write on this. They're finally starting to write stories, but it's almost like it took a second story like the first story wasn't enough, it wasn't good enough. But in a Me Too movement, as you mentioned in the beginning, every woman should be taken seriously. It shouldn't take a second woman to step up. Well, we know that the, the mainstream media is in the tank for the Democrat Party and, and that we will never get equal treatment as conservatives. But having said that, I think there's two steps to this. One, we have to take all allegations seriously, but two, everyone does deserve due process. We are in this country innocent, until proven guilty. However, the mainstream media has to cover it. At least say there are allegations, lay them out factually and specifically with dates, times, and attributions. But yes, I do believe that in this cancel culture world we live in, I also don't want to have that double standard because I have a son and I have a husband. And just because someone says they may or may not have done something, let's give these men due process, but the media has to talk about it. Okay, Grace, I only have seconds left. Should Governor Cuomo step down? Absolutely, yes. All right, Sean? Uh, Look, I think he has to either put up a really strong case or, or he got it. The issue I have, he has, he's being held to his own standard. That's different. I agree with what Aaron said. But he has a standard that he made himself. That's a unique situation. It is a unique situation. All right, ladies, thanks for being here. Thanks for being in our company today. I'm sure we'll have you back soon to talk about this again. Happy anniversary. All right, thanks. All right, come